Classics Dinner Sid by Inga Moore. Sid lived at number one on Aristotle Street. He also lived at number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. Sid lived in six houses so that he could have six dinners. Each night he would slip out of number one, where he might have had chicken, into number two for fish. On to number three for lamb, liver at number four, fish again at number five, ending at number six with beef and kidney stew. Since the neighbors did not talk to each other on Aristotle Street, they did not know what Sid was up to. They all believed the cat they fed was theirs, and theirs alone. But Sid had to work hard for his dinners. It wasn't easy being six people's pet. He had six different names to remember and six different ways to behave. When he was being Scaramucci, Sid put on swanky airs. As Bob, he had a job. He was naughty as mischief. Silly as Sally. As Sooty, he smooched. But as Schwartz, he had to act rough and tough. All this work sometimes wore Sid out. But he didn't care, as long as he had his six dinners. And besides, he liked being scratched in six different places, and sleeping in six different beds. In fact, life on Aristotle Street was just about perfect for Sid, until one cold, damp day, he caught a nasty cough. The next thing he knew, he was being taken to the vet. Poor Sid, he was taken not once, not twice, but six times. He went with six different people in six different ways. The vet said Sid's cough wasn't nearly as nasty as it sounded, but to be on the safe side, he should have a spoonful of medicine. Of course, Sid didn't have just one spoonful of medicine. He had six! Now, one black cat does look much like another, but nobody, not even a busy vet, could see the same cat six times without becoming suspicious. Sure enough, when he checked in his appointment book, the vet found six cats with a cough all living on Aristotle Street. So he called the owners at once. And, oh dear, Sid was found out. When they discovered what he had been up to, Sid's owners said he had no business eating so many dinners. They said in the future, they would make sure he had only one dinner a day. But Sid was a six-dinner-a-day cat, so he went to live at number one Pythagoras place. He also went to live at number two, three, four, five, and six. Unlike Aristotle Street, the people who lived on Pythagoras Place talked to their neighbors. So, right from the start, everyone knew about Sid's six dinners. And, because everyone knew, nobody minded. The End